Mateo 26, 26 dice, Y mientras comían, tomó Jesús el pan y bendijo, y lo partió y dio a sus discípulos y dijo, Tomad, comed, esto es mi cuerpo. And this is a question that has caused much disagreement between me and other friends of other denominations, and I hope you can be able to clarify it. Este versículo ha causado mucha contienda entre, eh, entre mis amigos que son de otras denominaciones y yo. Uh, my question is, what's the status of the elements in uh, the sacrament, whether the bread and wine is literally the flesh of Christ, or whether it's speaking in a spiritual sense, or if it's merely symbolic? ¿Cuál es el verdadero símbolo del cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo? Si de verdad es el cuerpo y la sangre de Cristo. Very well. So this verse, it says, And as they were eating, Jesus took bread, blessed, and broke it. And so he broke that physical bread, he broke it, and gave it to the disciples to eat. And so the Lord says to them, that bread that I just gave you to eat, that is my body. And so we can see that they did not eat the Lord, right? They didn't eat the Lord, the body of the Lord. But that bread was symbolizing, it was symbolizing the Lord. And he said, take, eat, this is my body. This means that you have believed in me. You have believed in me. You are going to follow me. You are going to evangelize. You from now on are going to preach and you are going to work miracles and wonders. And my spirit is going to be with you. And I am going to support you and I'm going to give you power so that you can do all the work that I have done. You will do from now on. That is what the Lord was saying. And so, today, the true symbol, there is no physical bread to be that symbol. The Lord Jesus Christ continues as a spirit. The Holy Spirit is the same spirit of God and is the same spirit of the Lord Jesus Christ. It is the same. And the Holy Spirit is the one that is with us and we, by believing By having God in our hearts, there we have that bread of life called Jesus Christ. We have the bread of life with us. When we believe in him, when we trust in him, we pray to him, we are enjoying and we are eating of that bread. But that bread has become doctrine. It has become the spiritual gifts, the blessings peace and the happiness that we feel. God speaks to me, makes me promises. He fulfills them. He keeps me. He protects me. That is the bread that we are eating at all times. It is spiritual. It is spiritual. Today, there is no physical piece of bread, but it is spiritual to believe in God, to believe in Jesus Christ as the Son of God, as God, as the one sent by God, And believing in him is enough. There, we are eating that bread symbolically. And we have that bread of life every day. That is why the Lord said, I am the bread of life. The one who believes in me will have eternal life. So, that is the spiritual sense today. It is the spirit of the Lord that is with us. That is the bread of life that shared with his disciples that day. Very 